Hello everybody and uh, welcome to me reading Pig Live which is a little bit scary because I'm not very technologically minded and um, even just doing this has kind of blown my mind and is freaking me out slightly but hey I'm really glad that you've come to join me today I'm super excited uh, I feel a little bit like uh, Joe Wicks does every morning um, only I've only got eight million people no I haven't I've got I've got Got a few of you watching now i know so today today i'm going to start reading to you the uh, unbelievable top secret diary of pig and then i'm going to read it to you every day this week and hopefully we're gonna get to the end of the book and i also hope that um my chat is going to work so that if you want to send me messages or uh just so i can give you a shout out and say hi um just tap a message in and hopefully i'll be able to see it and read it it's going to be a bit of a um it's a bit of a this, let's say this is our like this is our um, this is our first try at this. So let's see if we can get it all right together. Mostly me, not you at all. Um, anyways, well I hope um, I hope you're going to enjoy the book. Maybe some of you have read it already. Maybe some of you are thinking about reading it. Um, but yeah, so um, I guess with book. Uh, right then. So here we go. Uh, now I, I should tell you that this diary is top secret, um, and that if you are evil. Uh, you should definitely keep out of it. So there we go. Excellent. Right, so let's start from the beginning, shall we? It says, me, I is pig. I is 465 sunsets old, but every day I gets older. So this fact is only correct right now on the day I is writing. I live in pig house. Pig house is next to chicken house, which is opposite cow shed, which is not too far from duck pond. I has drawn a map for you. And there's the map. You can see it. That's pretty much uh, how I imagined uh, where Pig would live and where Pig probably imagines Pig would live as, as he drew it, obviously. Um, I is the only Pig that lives here. I has only ever been called Pig, so Pig is my name. I is a very lucky Pig. Of all the animals in the yard, I thinks that Farmer loves me most because he always gives me lots of yummy slops and lots of special back scratches. I loves back scratches, but most of all I loves yummy slops yummy sloppy food oh he loves my food i dreams about food a lot mushy parsnips mushed up carrots sloppy potatoes see when i gets going it's all i can think about anyways what i was expecting you is wondering is what is a pig doing writing a diary well it's simple really i often go sniffing around the dustbins what farmer leaves out by the main gates i go snuffling in them to see if i can find more slops but today i didn't find no slops or scraps i found this little book and a very chewed old pen. And I thought to myself, wouldn't it be fun to keep a diary? I was not sure who'll be reading this diary, but I was thinking whoever you is, you must be very clever because you can read pig. Or maybe you is a pig too. Who knows? Anyway, here goes. The unbelievable top secret diary of pig. Day one. I has no idea what to call this day. So as it is the first day I is writing this diary, I shall call it day one. And then it will be simple after that. You will see. Hello. Today I is very happy. Farmer gave me two big dollops of slops. I ate them all very fast and they made me windy. Farmer let me out into the yard so I went straight over towards the chicken house and laid some big fat farts right next to it. Ha! I is really not liking chickens. They is evil. I is sure if you was to meet them you would think they is evil too. Evil chickens is evil because one. When I is not looking, they sticks their evil beaks into my bowl and eats my slops. If I shout them to stop, they pecks me on my head. They has nasty, evil, sharp beaks, and it hurts. Two. When cow lies down to sleep, they hops on her back and does little poos all over her. They thinks this is very funny. I thinks this is nasty. I wish cow wasn't so nice and would poo on them. Three. They steals my friend Duck's special duck food. Farmer gives it to him in the bowl. But as soon as farmer isn't looking, the evil chickens push duck out of the way and eat it. Duck pretends like he doesn't care, but I knows deep down inside he does. Four. They has nasty little evil eyes. They is very black, like little dark holes what is made of pure evil. I is not liking their evil little eyes. They makes me feel scared just looking at them. Once I had finished up stinking up the chicken house, I went over to see Duck. Duck is great. I likes Duck very much. If you met Duck, I knows you would like him too. There used to be more than one duck, but one night Fox came and ate them all up. Fox ate Duck's mum, his dad, and all his brothers and sisters. 
fox is very nasty. He made Duck very sad. I knows what it's like not to have a mum or a dad or brothers and sisters because I got taken away from mine when I was very little and born here to live with Farmer. So I made an extra special effort to cheer Duck up. Me and Duck is best friends now. Duck says I is like a brother, only I don't have feathers or funny flappy feet. Ha! <laughs> Duck always makes me laugh. Duck lives in a little shed in the middle of Duck Pond. That way Fox can't get him because Fox can't swim. Ha! Mr Fox, not so clever now. Duck is very clever. He speaks lots of languages. He speaks pig, chicken, cow, sheep and farmer. This is much better than I can do. I can only speak duck. It's a lot like pig. Just listen to the noise of a duck talking and the noise of a pig talking and you will see what I mean. I speaks a little bit of cow and sheep. I can't speak any farmer, but I can understand an incy pit if I listens really hard and concentrates. I hope that you can read pig. Otherwise, you won't be able to understand a word I has written. <laughs> I can't swim, so I sit on the side of my trotters in the mud and waits for Duck to come over. Today, Duck told me he thinks the evil chickens are planning something. He says last night they were up very late in the chicken house, way past lights out. He said they didn't come and steal his food eat today either, which means they must be up to something because they always make time to steal his food. Duck told me I should eat less. He says that way I will live longer. But I says, if I don't eat so much, I will shrink right down and be a mini pig. Duck says, if I a small farmer will keep me longer. The farmer is very happy when I eat. Duck is silly sometimes. At the end of the day, farmer came and put me back into my pig house. He gave me one of his special back scratches and made a very happy noise. Farmer likes me big. Duck is so wrong. I is going to make myself as big as I can. That way, farmer will love me more. Day two. Oh, hello. Today was very boring. It was so boring that I shall only write a very small amount so it doesn't make you bored too. Today farmer gave me two helpings of slops. This, this was not boring. This was very, very exciting. But then it rained. Farmer didn't let me out in the yard so I just watched Duck having fun on his pond and I wish that I could swim like him. If I could swim, I would swim round and round the pond. First on my front and then on my back and then I would build a big platform and jump off it doing all kinds of somersaults in the air. But I can't use a hammer. So I can't build a platform and I can't swim neither. So that's the end of that. Boring. Day three. Hello. It stopped raining. Hooray! The yard is very muddy. Hooray, hooray! Farmer gave me three helpings of slops. Hooray, hooray, hooray! Farmer looked very happy that I ate all my three helpings. He scratched my back and called me by my special name, Roast Pig. Well, he has no idea what it means, but it sounds nice when he says it. I tell Duck about my special name. He says it's not special. I think he says this because he is jealous that Farmer doesn't have names for him. Farmer is great. Every morning he is giving me back scratches and special rubs by my ears and patting my tummy. I wish I could scratch behind Farmer's back. I wish I could scratch Farmer's back and rub him behind his ears to show him that I loved him back. After my breakfast, I was so full that my belly was nearly touching the floor. Boy, oh boy, more big fats. I went and sat on the edge of Duck Pond and did some and they went bubble, 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 bubble. And me and Duck laughed a lot. Duck said I was like, it was like swimming in a smelly hot tub. I saw the evil chickens watching. I think they were jealous of me and Duck having fun. Evil chickens don't do having fun. They just do stealing everyone's food and pooing on cow. Oh, and they also do laying eggs. I think that these is probably evil too. But Farmer and Mrs. Farmer seem to like them very much. They built the evil chickens a special house. With a special door, what stops Fox coming and eating them, eating them up like he did the ducks. Fox is the only thing that the evil chickens is scared of. After I finished in the pond, I went over and played in my special bit of mud, the one only I play in. It's next to the sheep field. Nobody else knows it is there, apart from the sheep, of course. But sheep don't do rolling in mud, because they is too silly to realise how much fun rolling in mud is. <laughs> they just stand there and watches me. There are funny heads following me as I roll around and around and around. Rolling in mud is fun, fun, fun. Give it a try if you likes. Just find a big old patch of mud and jump right in and squelch round and round. It feels so good. Especially when it's really thick mud and it sticks everywhere. 
Duck says that after I've been rolling round in mud, I looks like a chocolate pig. Ha <laughs> ha, Duck is very funny. Then I watch farmer milking cow. Like I says before, I don't speak much cow, and cow only speaks a tiny bit of pig, so we don't say too much to each other, and when cow does say stuff sometimes, it doesn't make no sense at all. But I say nothing about it making no sense, because that would be rude. Today, cow says to me, hello pig, you look very turnip. I think she means happy. Because in pig, happy and turnip sound very similar. I think this is probably because turnips and happiness are pretty much the same thing to pigs. I love turnips. <laughs> so I says to cow, so as not to be rude, yes, I is very turnip today, thank you. Farmer gave me a slurp of cow's milk. Oh boy, it was so yummy. If I could milk cow myself, I would be in heaven. In fact, even betters. I would be a cow and then I would be able to milk myself all day long. Only I would have to be a cow with very bendy legs. Uh, so there's, they could bend round and touch my udders. Hmm. Why don't pigs have udders like cows? That would be amazing. Farmer and Mrs. Farmer came to see me tonight. They both gave me big back scratches and Mrs. Farmer measured my middle with a long piece of tape. She looked very happy. Farmer called me by my special name again and Mrs. Farmer said, Mmm, sausages. <laughs> sausages. What a silly sounding word that is. Sausages, sausages, sausages. Uh. Oh, sausages. Ha -ha. I think Mrs. Farmer likes me too. Mmm, yum, yum. Day four. Hello. You will be so glad I is writing this diary for you because today Duck told me some very amazing news. The evil chickens are building a space rocket. Duck said he heard them talking about it last night. He sneaked up and listened right outside the door of Chicken House. They have drawn up plans and everything. Big plans. They is building it out of the broken tractor in the old hay barn. I can't believe it. Duck says they have been building it for ages and no one has noticed because no one goes in the old hay barn because no one would want to go in there but the evil chickens. Because it's dark and it smells yucky. They go in there and pretend to scratch around, while all the time what they is really doing is building a space rocket. Oh, and Duck told me again that I should stop eating so much. He says I look nearly ready for the pot. He won't tell me what the pot is. He just says it's bad. I say that the pot sounds nice. Sounds like something you keep lots of yummy food in. Yum diddly scrumptious. Duck says I is silly. I says Duck is silly, 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 silly. Anyways, this afternoon I sneaked over towards the old hay barn to see what the evil chickens had built. I was super sneaky. I turned myself into a pile of hay. I covered myself from head to toe in it, I did. Because if I had just walked over dressed as pig, they would have spotted me straight away. But it wasn't as totally sneaky as I had hoped. Because a bit of hay tickled my nose and just as I got near the barn I sneezed really hard and all the hay dropped off. One of the evil chickens pokes his head out to see what is going on, so I quickly pretended to be looking for some yummy worms to eat in the mud. Ha! Ha! Pig fooled you, evil chicken. Tomorrow I is going to make a better disguise. Tomorrow I is going to go as a big heap of poo. I is so excited I can hardly speak. I love space rockets. They is just so big and exciting. Imagine riding round in the sky, but I just don't love them as much as I love slops and farmer. I don't love anything more than I love slops and bam. Huh? <laughs> Day five. Hello. I really smells bad. I smells of poo. Yuck, yuck. If you was right here now, you'd be holding your nose and saying, poo e you pongs of poo pig. I smells bad because all day I have been pretending to be a heap of poo. I cannot tell you how hard it is being a heap of poo. You should try it. Actually, no. No, maybe you shouldn't. No. You probably smell all nice and soapy. It would be a shame if you smelled of poo. It is hard being a heap of poo because, number one, poo is heavier than you think and it's hard to walk covered in it. Number two, poo gets in your eyes and makes it hard for you to see. Number three, poo attracts lots of flies so wherever you go there is a loud buzzing sound in your ears. And number four, poo smells of poo and that is a bad smell. I cover myself in poo from the big poo heap. You should see it. It is huge. Farmer adds more poo to it every day until it is as big as a mountain and then he spreads it all over his fields. Duck says the poo has special powers that make the grass grow even faster. 
Magic poo. Ah, <laughs> very funny. Once I was finished covering myself, I shuffled towards the old A barn. I went really slowly, crawling, so they couldn't see my legs. I tucked my ears in and stuffed a large piece of old cow poo on my tail, so they couldn't see those neither. I took me, it took me so long to get across the yard that when I finally got to the old hay barn, it was dark and I couldn't see inside. So I smelled of poo for nothing. Farmer couldn't understand what had happened. He washed me down with a giant hose, but he couldn't get all the poo off. So I still smells bad. But even though I really pong, he gave me a special extra portion of slops, a super big back scratch and a long rub by my ear. <laughs> he is my bestest friend. Well, him and Duck are my bestest friends. But Duck doesn't give me slops and back scratches. So if I was honest, I is loving Farmer just a teeny tiny bit more. But please don't be telling Duck that. Day six. Hello. You will not be believing what has happened today. I don't believe what happened today. And it happened to me. It all started after breakfast. Like normal, I went over and laid a big fat fart outside the evil chicken house. Today it was a proper stonker. It even made me want to hold my nose. And then I went to see Duck and play by the pond. Only when I get to the pond, one of the evil chickens is there too. It was the super evil one. The one what is pecking me on the head the hardest when I was complaining about them stealing my slops. Pure super evil chicken. We is just to head about to head back to pig house when Duck says to me that super evil chicken wants a word about their little secret. I pretend like I don't give a lump of chicken poop what they has to say, but inside I is really as curious as a rat in a corn shed. The evil chickens big pig, but they speak it very slowly and very loudly with silly posh sounding accents. I has trouble listening to it without giggling, but I try not to laugh because I really want to know about their secret. One knows how very much you would like to see our secret project. So if you will kindly follow me, one will show you, says the super evil chicken. How does he know how much I want to see their secret project? I was super sneaky with my disguises. He must be talking about duck, I think, but I don't say nothing because I don't want to make duck look silly. Me and duck follow super evil chicken into the old hay barn and there it is in front of our very eyes. It is ginormous. If only you could see it, it looks like a cross between a tractor and a rocket. Like a rocket. <laughs> I really is so funny. Anyways, it was so stupendous that my eyes nearly popped out of my head. Pop, pop. Oh, it doesn't need any fancy fuel to make it work. It uses poo. Duck was right. Poo really is magic. But most amazing of all, is that they is going to fly it to Pluto. Why Pluto, I says. They says they have to go to Pluto to beat the record set by the chickens from the farm across the valley. Turns out last year, the evil chickens across the valley built a rocket of their own and sent it to Mars. You really won't believe in this. The pilot was a pig. The super evil chickens say that pigs make the best pilots because they is super brave and fearless. When I is hearing this, I is feeling very proud inside and also a little confused. I is not sure why the evil chickens is suddenly being so nice. The evil chickens here has even built their own telescope out of an old drain pipe so they can take pictures of their trocket when it lands on Pluto and show the evil chickens across the valley how clever they is. The super evil chicken says that the trocket is almost complete and that all they need is an astronaut to fly it. Then the super evil chicken says the most amazing amazing thing. It says they want me to be the one who flies it. Me? Astronaut pig? Flying to Pluto? Can you believe it? But of course I can't go. That would be silly. Who would feed me slops on Pluto? And there's not enough space for farmer and me in the trocket. I tells the super evil chicken, thank you, but no thank you. Farmer loves me very much, I could never leave him. The super evil chicken just laughs at me and says that I will find out just how much farmer loves me very, very soon. I was thinking this sounds like a lovely thing. But the way the super evil chicken says it, it sounds bad. Only the evil chickens could make something nice sound horrible. Farmer gave me five portions of slops today and he called me by my special name again, Rose Pick. <laughs> and he said I was nearly ready. I think nearly ready means something is gonna happen soon. I hope more slops is gonna happen soon. How exciting.
<laughs> I love farmers so much. Oh, day seven. Hello. Today has been the worst day in my life. So bad. <laughs> that has made my heart ache really badly. I was wondering if it might actually be broken into teeny tiny pieces. <laughs> today is bad. Because today I found out Farmer doesn't love me. He wants to see me for his dinner. <laughs> I wish that I had never gone over to see Duck after slops. Because if I hadn't, I would never have had to know. But then if I never did know, I think it might actually have been worse. <laughs> so today, Farmer gave me more slops than ever before and I can hardly walk. In fact, I was so tired after I was eaten that I don't even go in the yard. I just lie around in my shed. I was just about to fall asleep and have big dreams about more slops. When Duck waddles in and says he has something important to show me. And I must go with him to Farmer's Shed. Farmer's Shed is over in the far corner. Any farmer ever goes there, so he has no idea why Duck wants us to go. As we get closer, I seize the door. Farmer has nailed a golden square of metal with a picture of a sad-faced big fat pig scratched into it. Looking at me gives me funny goosebumps all over. Duck notches open the door and we goes inside. In the middle there is a wooden table, some large hooks hanging from the ceiling and a big axe. It doesn't smell nice in there neither and I tell Duck I don't like it. Duck says I shouldn't like it. Then he tells me the worst thing in the world I've ever heard. He says that this is where Farmer kills his pigs. <laughs> I says, don't be silly. Farmer doesn't have any pigs. He just has me. And Duck says, yup, that's right. You are the pig he's going to kill, pig. Apparently Farmer has had many pigs like me and they has all come in here and they has never come out. He showed me this chart on the wall which gives Farmer instructions on how to cut me up into lots of different pieces. I felt sick, sick to my stomach. So I ran straight back to my shed and I stuck my trousers in my ear so I couldn't hear any more bad things ever again. And this is when I think my heart snapped in two or maybe three or maybe four. It really hurt. I was thinking Farmer loved me. I was thinking I was his bestest pig. All that time he was feeding and scratching me and patting me and he was thinking about eating me. Farmer doesn't love me. I don't love Farmer. Farmer wants to eat me. I wish I could eat Farmer instead. Duck came back in and said that he was sorry he told me. But he thought maybe I should know and that just maybe I should think about taking up the evil chicken's offer and going to Pluto. Because if I was on Pluto, there was no way Farmer could chop me up and eat me for his tea. He said I would think about it. So there we go. That's the reading for today. I was a little bit sad about poor pig. <laughs> poor old pig. Oh, we get rid of the text. There we go. So there we are, everybody. I hope you enjoy it. I might go back to my normal voice now, which is like this. Um, and we will carry on the story tomorrow. Um, I don't know if anyone has sent me any messages because I can't really see on this. I can have a look on my laptop, but I don't think I've got the technology to work it out. So look, I tell you what, uh, if you do have any messages or questions you'd like to ask me, or if you'd just like me to say hello to you, then um, do email me at ask.emmastamp at gmail.com and I will uh, answer your questions or uh, shout you out tomorrow. How does that sound? I think it sounds good. So hopefully you all enjoyed that. We've got to find out tomorrow where the pig decides that he is going to go off onto the truck, take the truck it and ride off to Pluto, or whether he's gonna stay. And I'm not sure really what's gonna happen to him if he stays, to be quite honest. I'm a little bit worried. Um, yeah, so back here on my YouTube channel, I'm slipping into pig again at 1.30 tomorrow and we'll find out together what's going to happen to our dear pig. Thank you ever so much for joining me today and um, I hope you have the rest of a lovely day everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.